Hi y'all, Allison here. It's been a while. I know it's been a while. You're probably wondering where have I been? Let me tell you where I've been. I've been right here, <laughs> here at home or at school because I've been spending the past four and a half months, well, since January, finishing up my last semester in grad school. But I finished, I graduated. I am now a woman who has a Master of Arts in writing and I can't wait to start my writing career, my writing teaching career. I wanna teach others how to write as well. But anyway, congratulations to me, yay! But I'm back, I'm back here on YouTube and today I wanna to talk to you all about my aliens. My aliens. I don't believe in aliens, <laughs> the extraterrestrial ones, but I definitely believe in my alien perfumes and I love my alien perfumes. So if you're interested in seeing what I have to say about it, then please stay tuned. So I noticed <laughs> that I was like looking up like this a lot. I was like, stop doing that. So I'm backing up backing up a little bit but i have here with me four alien perfumes i basically have the original alien alien fusion alien o extraordinaire and alien essence absolute i'll get into the details of that one at the end because that one is really hard to find but i was able to get hold of it kind of sort of but stay tuned for the details so first we have the original Alien. That's what it looks like. I have the reformulated version, the most recent version of Alien. And from what I've read, what I've been told by other perfume lovers, it's not nearly as awesome as the original formulation. But I still love wearing this. I kind of wish I could have experienced the original version, but I didn't get to. But I still love the version I have. And I love wearing this. It's my beautifying body lotion in the matching fragrance. This is a must have in my collection, my scent collection, the Alien Body Lotion, because I use it with the original Alien, of course, but I use it with my other Aliens too. And I just love the overall sillage that happens when I combine the lotion with the perfume. So maybe that's why they did the reformulation to force us to buy more products because when I wear this on its own, honestly, doesn't project as far, doesn't last as long. But when I layer it on top of the body lotion, I get a much greater performance and an overall beautiful fragrance experience. To describe what this smells like, I have to spray it. It's kind of good, I'm spraying it on a paper towel. I'm gonna smell outside of the frame because it's just ghetto for me to show you all a paper towel. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm back. Ooh, such a beautiful smell. So this is very, to me, it's ambery, jasmine, intense white floral. Not tuberose type of white floral. I just sprayed it on my hands. Even though I have another scent of the day. Oh, this to me is subtly spicy. Not as spicy as Alien Fusion, which I'll talk about later. But for me, this just has a warm, intense floral, but white floral smell. But all of that floral smell is focused on almost a synthetic jasmine. This doesn't smell like some of the other jasmine scents I have in my collection. Jasmine based perfume, well based lotion. It doesn't smell like that. That one smells more powdery. This one, probably smells more indolic. And I recently figured out what indolic mean. I've seen that word thrown around a lot in reviews. People are like, oh, it's indolic. And I'm just like, okay, <laughs> whatever that means. <laughs> but I found that it means reminiscent of rotting plants, which justifiably some people would not like. So this is not a blind buy. This is not something that everybody 
you can just easily buy it as a gift. You have to know that the person loves that indolent jasmine smell. And this definitely has that indolent jasmine smell. Apparently jasmine, as soon as it blooms, it starts to die at the same time or pick up that rotting plant smell. And it can be a turn off to some people, but it can be attractive to some people. Maybe those of us who like it, we're a bit, you know, weird. <laughs> I've been called weird before in my life, so it fits, it's on brand. But basically, this is the original. I've used up, I don't know if you can see, but I've used up a 10th of this, which is a lot because I have a lot of perfumes. So to use up a 10th of anything in my collection is like, girl, you must love that. Also, do you all like my shirt? <laughs> <laughs> my outfit's pretty simple, it's just, Head to toe black, except for the rainbow collar. But I love Alien. I love the original Alien. And honestly, when I wear this, I get compliments. Not from everybody. It's not like everybody who smells me loves it. Um, but I have gotten compliments when I've worn this. Off people just being like, what is that smell? Is that you? So I think if you have the confidence to pull this off, you can. Some people might think of this as a more mature scent. I've recently been educated by my girls in my Facebook fragrance groups that the word granny or grandma is insulting. I don't mean it as an insult, but you know, I take people at their word. If it feels like an insult to people, then I won't insult people. But some people may int interpret this as a mature smell. I think I'm mature enough to carry it off because to me, maturity is just the confidence you gain from having lived as long as you lived. <laughs> and it's a blessing to have lived as long as any of us have lived. I'm getting up there with the 40 year olds and that's a blessing. <laughs> I think it's just a testament to that blessing to smell mature. <laughs> Next up, we have Alien Fusion. <music> I more easily recommend to people as a semi-blind buy. I say semi because the people I've recommended it to, they still smelled it on me. But this one, I think if you just saw it in the store, this might not be the one that the sales ladies would try to push on you. I feel like most sales ladies, if they're just trying to make an easy sale, they're like, get some Coco Mademoiselle, girl, you'll love it. Get La Via Belle, girl, you'll love it. Just because those are easy sales. But if they're dealing with the woman who's like, I don't want what's typical. I want something that's a little different, but she's still not so weird <laughs> as to want to smell like an endolic jasmine. She'll love Alien Fusion. Alien Fusion is reminiscent of so many other perfumes out there. Not so many, but it's, there's a number of perfumes that purport or have been purported by others to be dupes of this. Um, one is Twilly de Hermes. A lot of people say that smells reminiscent of this and I've smelled that and it smells beautiful and I can see the connection, but I still prefer to have this one in my collection. But Alien Fusion takes that jasmine scent, makes it less indolic, adds tuberose, which makes it a bit bubblegummy, and then cinnamon and ginger, which makes it spicy. I can't remember the, if there's other notes, but there's something in this or maybe the combination of all of those elements that also comes off as sweet. The overall smell to me is sweet, fresh, ladylike. I feel like you can get away with wearing this if, in the office if you're light-handed and you don't layer it <laughs> on top of the body lotion too much. I still wear it layered on top of the Alien Body Lotion and honestly, I'm heavy handed, but the way my office is set up, I'm in a suite. Everybody's very spread out, like nobody's right on me. So the chances of me offending somebody aren't that great, but I have to admit that people have said, oh, Allison must have been in here, it smells like perfume. <laughs> so nobody's complained, <laughs> so it's fine. But I feel like this can be a scent that you can make work for the office if you spray lightly. But if you want it to carry and have impact, it can definitely do that if you layer it on top of the Alien Body Lotion and you spray to your heart's content. Just, just spray. 
spray. <laughs> when I've worn this, I've gotten a lot of compliments. I've had people follow me. I've had people come up to me the next day and say, my office still smells like you and it smells delicious. I've had people, okay, let's not go to the, <laughs> into the details of how this affects people, but it has an effect on people. Women love it on you, men love it on you. Some perfumes can be polarizing across genders. In my experience, some perfumes that men love to smell on a woman, it triggers, I think, that natural biological competitive reaction in women where they're like, <laughs> but this one, I feel like, it's a nice balance. Women love to smell it on another woman. Men love to smell it on a woman. So it's not too va va boom, but it can be if that's how your energy is. <laughs> I feel like I described this one in the scent profile. I did. Moving on. My most recent purchase is Alien O Extraordinaire. <laughs> of 2020 I was obsessed with this like I need it in my life I would go to the Belk and the dealers counters nope it was just the dealers because some reason Belk doesn't sell alien but I would go to the dealers counter just smell this spray it on a piece of paper and put the paper in my pocket like my shirt pocket and I would still smell it throughout the day and I just kept being like I need this in my life and for a moment I thought I would finally get it off of fragrance net but lately I've been just willing to pay extra to immediately get it from dealers or Belk or wherever I get it. Because once something is on my mind and I'm obsessed with it, once I have the chance to get it, I want it now. I don't wanna wait for the shipping process. And lately I've been shipping stuff to my PO box and PO boxes for some reason don't usually let you ship perfume. But this, this is even easier an even easier version of the alien smell. If you know someone or you're someone who the original alien almost ticks you off, like you're like, ugh, but something still kind of draws you in to where you wish it could work for you, try Alien O Extraordinaire. And try it while you can, because I get the feeling this is gonna be discontinued. But this to me, the same woman you could sell Coco Mademoiselle to, you could sell this to her as well. And you could sell this to her as her summer or spring perfume. Cause Coco Mademoiselle and Coco Mademoiselle Intense, especially, those can feel kind of heavy and perfect more for cooler weather. But someone who likes that fresh citrus floral smell, but wants it to be able to work in warm weather, they would like this. I don't remember the notes off the top of my head. I'm sure I've already shown them. But what I do pick up is, and I'm wearing this today so I can spray it on my other hand to get a reminder of the opening. But this is citrusy. So if you hate citruses, move along. <laughs> this one ain't for you. But this one is citrusy, floral, white floral, and fresh. To me, I pick up the white florals and the citrus the most. I can tell this is an alien flanker, but it doesn't smell exactly like alien. It's not like it's so much like alien that anybody who hates alien, I would tell them stay away from it. If you hate alien, still give this a try. If you hate alien, but you've kind of been wanting something alien like, give this a try. Now, if you love alien and you want everything in the world to smell like alien, this might make you mad because the citrus in here comes pretty strongly. So this might upset you because you're like, I barely smell the alien, I smell more of the citrus. But I love it, it smells good. It's a crowd pleaser. The sillage on this isn't so crazy that it's a crowd pleaser and that anybody I pass by will love it. But anybody who gets to smell it on me has complimented me on it. If they're close enough to smell it on me, I've gotten compliments. And again, that's Alien O oh, Extraordinaire. Let me tell you about Alien Essence Absolute.
If you watch fragrance videos a lot, you have heard everyone and their mother and father and grandmother and cousins wax poetic about Alien Essence Absolute. And the crazy thing is I never got a chance to smell it because it was never available in my city. I live in North Alabama and apparently fragrance retailers, when they send stuff around, they don't really send it to us in North Alabama. But people treat us people who are in Alabama like we're just backwoods country idiots. So <laughs> that maybe that's why. But I did order the Essence Absolute Eau de Parfum Intense sample off of Mercari. And the sample itself was kind of awkward. It was one of those where you take the top off and you dab it. I hate dabbers. But I did have an empty spray bottle. So I moved some of the juice into this spray bottle so I could test it out. And it's kind of hard because I have to angle it to where the atomizer is right up in the juice. But I remember I recorded a whole audio recording of my reaction to it but i'll just go off the top of my head what i remember when i first wore it was the first spray i was like oh <clears throat> okay very ambery the amber and the smokiness kick in right at the beginning and at first i was like okay glad i didn't believe the hype because it was just very intense for me But as it calmed down, because I sprayed it on my hand, because I was wearing another perfume that day, or I dabbed it on my hand, actually. But the first day, I dabbed it on my hand, and at first, I was kind of like, hmm, glad I didn't believe the hype and pay $300 for an outdated bottle, because this is discontinued. So the only way you can buy it is from resellers, and the resellers are pushing the prices through the roof. I still wouldn't pay what resellers are trying to charge for this. I get it. You you have a limited edition bottle or you have a product that's no longer available. Make your money, but you won't make it off me. <laughs> but as this calms down, that smokiness levels out and you, to me, you get a very creamy, vanillic version of Alien. To me, the Alien DNA isn't as intense in this one. To me, you very much smell the creaminess the smokiness, the vanilla. You can smell the white florals, but it's not that endolic white floral smell. But as I basically continued to wear it, I was like, dang, I want it. <laughs> so guess what I did? I bought a dupe. It's by a company that has a kind of awkward name, Squirts Aromatics. <laughs> They have an Etsy page, but they also have their own web page. But when I typed in Alien Essence Absolute Dupe to see if there were other, you know, designer perfumes that people say smell like it, I was led to Squirts Aromatics. Has a lot of reviews, a lot of reviews. And the reviews are high. A lot of the people who have purchased from Squirts have really loved their products. So I was like, okay, I'm going to take a gamble and buy this. And it was such a good price. I think it was $60 after I paid for shipping and handling and taxes for this 100 mil. I always prefer to get the 100 mil. The bottle itself, of course, doesn't compare to the Alien bottles, but the smell. I went through a week, a week straight <laughs> of just wearing this. And that's unheard of because I switch it up, y'all. I switch it up day to day, different perfume every day, different scent of the day. I have variety, diversity. <laughs> I like to wear my whole collection. This one, I just kept every day being like, oh, I want to smell like that again. And I would use either the Alien body lotion as my base to layer it on top of or Tahitian Gardenia Body Butter by Pacifica. Either one works really well. The jasmine in that is more powdery and creamy, and it kind of helps to calm down 
that alien smell if that's something you're interested in doing like if you want less of that indolic smell layer your alien perfume on top of that body butter but that body butter layered with this is amazing i just remember something else i said and when i was giving my thoughts on this in my little audio recording i'm glad i did that because it makes it easier to remember if you like cocoa eau de parfum by chanel and you love that resinous ambery essence or portion of the cocoa smell but you want it to be sweeter and creamier get this this basically takes cocoa by chanel and alien by moogler brings them together amps up the smokiness for an overall well-blended effect if you can get the original alien essence absolute and you don't mind paying 300 dollars for it because that's what some people are selling it for have at it i get it because i love having original bottles i mean look at this who wouldn't want that bottle <laughs> in their collection so i get it i'm not there where i wasn't willing to pay that price though but if you're like me and you're not willing to pay that price i recommend squirts aromatics okay guys Thank you for watching my video. I hope to make another one very soon. And again, yay me for graduating and no longer being as stressed as I was for the last portion of finishing up my degree. All right, see you guys on the next one.